Right, uh, further to uh, our business builders on Monday night, uh, the one that failed to record, here's a quick recording of the online section. Um, obviously now with the Viva MK online specials, you can get customers to have a look at the Viva MK online.com shop and they can order things through there. Obviously they can't order direct, they need to get back to you. So if you're doing any posts on Facebook or any social media, make sure that they message you if they want to order something. So give them the link if people inquire and then get them to have a look around and then contact you. Uh, there are a few restrictions. Uh, you need to let them know that it's a maximum of three items for direct dispatch and you can order one, two or three different products uh, but you can't order more than three and there is a handling charge and it's 395 whether it's one two or three items uh, there's no free handling charge even if you put a thousand pound order in and these products can be delivered direct to your address uh, but don't abuse this don't start putting little small orders in uh, if you haven't reached the free handling charge with your normal orders, uh, this is how it was abused before. And if you do that, then we might lose it. So let's say you can have things delivered direct to your house. But the idea is it's for online customers. If it's online customers who have a look, then you can do that with your catalogues. If you put a little flyer out with the link to the website, and also if it's Facebook local people then they can give you the order direct you can put the order in just add it onto your normal orders and the important thing there is you can deliver those goods to the customers and that's when they pay you if you're doing Facebook or social media or websites and it's national if it's the other end of the country and you can't deliver then you can take orders that way but you need to get the payment up front and that payment can be uh, through PayPal or direct into your bank or I think probably unofficially um, if they're happy to give you their credit card details over the phone then you can actually pay that money into your wallet as soon as that money appears into your wallet then you know that payment has been made and then you can make the order and the way you can get things delivered to their address is once you go into the checkout or oh, that's another thing you make make sure if you're having money paid into the wallet make sure you've got no other orders in the cart otherwise they'll be deleted so take them what the money once you've got the money whichever means you're getting it whether it's into your bank or into the wallet then make their order out and then at the checkout this is the important bit you need to ch tick the alternative delivery address fill out the customers details there and then a nice touch is if you put the customers mobile number in for the phone number and then when DPD have loaded that onto the van and they will actually send a text to that number letting them know when the delivery is going to be and that will really impress your customers so remember the customers number in the phone number it says optional and another tip if you put your phone number in the other notes and saying if there are any problems any issues with this please call put your number there and then if the uh, DPD driver can't get hold of that person they'll ring you so at least you've uh, been contacted and you can contact that customer so I hope that helps and uh, give it a go and like I said earlier don't abuse the system it's there for getting products to people ideally all over the country and getting those extra orders okay hope that helps bye now